Hello user. Welcome to Gososi. One of the hottest tools to pull in massive amounts of free unlimited traffic. From the hottest social networking sites including Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. Let me take you to a walkthrough of the Gososi tool. You can log in with Google or Facebook account option on the login page. Now I am going log in with Gmail account. And here you are in the Gososi dashboard area. Let's start with the basics by checking out different tabs. Provided in the center of the members area. In the center, you will be able to find stats or, you can say a report. Like you can also see the number of shares. And your last URL performance. Then, in the top right corner, you will be able to log out of the dashboard. Alternately, when you see the top left corner of the dashboard, you will be able to locate your profile picture which allows you to access basic options. You can log out from here as well. Now let's move to the left side menu, to get a glimpse of all that is offered by your brand new GoSoci software. 3. The Site Map tab, which allows you to create site maps. By clicking on the Create Site Map tab, you will be able to locate site map creation area. Start by entering the URL of the website, and click on Generate tab. Soon after, you will see additional options showing different analytics. Like, the current link, number of pages scanned, added in sitemap, number of pages left, and time passed in this process, all continuously updating themselves. You can then click the, stop option, once you are finished doing the process. Once you click the, stop option, the download button appears. Now click on the download button, the sitemap file gets downloaded, which you can access from the drop-down menu, in the bottom left corner of the user area. From the drop-down menu, select the show in folder option, and you can see the folder where the sitemap file has been saved. Pretty easy till here. Now you need to upload this sitemap, to your server, where this website is hosted. Now, we head over to the second tab, that is add sitemaps, and it takes you to another setup, where you can add sitemaps. Once again, copy the concerned URL. and open it in the new tab. While doing so add sitemap.xml at the end of the URL. You can access the whole document tree here. Now, copy the URL again, go to the dashboard, and paste it in the URL section of add sitemap area. On clicking submit, your sitemap will be added successfully. When you scroll down, you can see the sitemap URL has been added. It shows now, 488 index URLs and, date and time of modification. Once reviewed, you can either enter, submit or, delete the entry of the sitemap. Alternately, you can also delete any added sitemap, by selecting the particular URL and, click on the trash icon, just above the entries. Now we will move on to the next feature in the dashboard the URLs. Once you click on the URL tab, the page crawl starts happening and will add all sitemap URLs, which you have added earlier. Once all the pages are added, you can see the results. Whoa! You can see thumbnails of all the blocks, titles, URLs, sitemaps, date slash time modified and any editing action you wish to take. You can delete any blog entry by selecting it and clicking on the trash button. Alternately, you can share any blog entry on Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr and Twitter by clicking on the share button. Just select the social media option which opens. Once you click share. Next, you can also choose what is the best time and date you would like to share it on. There are different time options available. You can schedule the one that suits you and click on confirm. Whoa! You did it. Now let's go to Facebook.com and check. Hey, you can see the link shared on your Facebook timeline. Now, go back to the user area, and select the same blog, that was shared earlier. This time select all the social media, Facebook, Twitter timelines, Tumblr, to post the blog. Again, choose a posting daytime schedule and, hit confirm. We will once again check. First Facebook.com and you see the post has been shared. Next Twitter and, then Tumblr Timeline.
We found it here too. Amazing job isn't it? All with a mouse click. Now, time to check another feature of this awesome tool. That called Facebook Campaign. With this feature, you can launch a Facebook campaign. We begin with entering the title and description of the campaign. Once you create it, you can see it in the Facebook campaign section with all its details. When you hover the mouse on the options, on the bottom right corner, you can launch and group your Facebook campaigns. Let's click on the group icon. This feature allows you to search campaigns by any name. Now let's give the keyword name to search in groups. It will display all the existing open closed Facebook groups by the same name with its fetch group, fetch groups option. You can also save Facebook groups of your interest. The software displays the thumbnails, title of the group, privacy status, links of all the Facebook groups, and the results area. We can share any single URL to on social media. For that let's go back to the URLs tab in the dashboard menu. Open a page URL in the new tab that you want share. Copy it and paste it in the add URL affiliate link area. Once you successfully submit it, move to the last page of the results area. And you will see that the above link URL has been added in the end. From the bottom right options, you can edit the page. Enter the title, message, that should be displayed on the top of the post. Add an image from your media gallery and Submit it successfully. Review the changes made to the entry in the URL area. Now select the entry and click on the share button. Select the Facebook timeline in the launcher section and set the schedule of posting it. Once the schedule has been added successfully, go to facebook.com and review the post. In the post, below the image is the URL. Once you click on the image, it will take you to the URL affiliate link that was added. Now we go back to the dashboard area in the URL section. Here you can delete any post that you want. Let's select entry number 489 and delete it and then confirm. This is how simply you can add, create URLs, affiliate links, Facebook campaigns and launch them on these hot social sites with a simple mouse click. Whoa, that's easy, is single quote NT it? Now let's click on the Facebook campaign tab. We go to the online marketing campaign we created earlier. There are options in the right to launch it and delete it. Now, we click on launch it, you will be shown the open Facebook groups selected by you earlier. It will be added to the Facebook launcher option where you can select it while launching a campaign. Now, again go to the features menu on the left side of the screen and select Earl's tab. Select the first blog entry and the online marketing group we created earlier will be accessible for us to post blog entries. Once you click on share button, the launcher tab opens and you can select online marketing tab under the Facebook launcher option. Repeat the same process of selecting a date and time schedule. And once added successfully, go to facebook.com to check and review. As you can see, the link has been successfully shared in the selected group on Facebook. And you can open and view any of the reports available postwise. Now, we will move to the Reports tab, to review some analytics. Once you reach there, you will be able to review all the posts. You can see the page title, site URL, where posted, post link and date time of the post. You can select and delete the unwanted reports from the area. Now, we move on to the Settings tab in the dashboard menu. Select connection from the drop down menu of the settings tab. As you scroll down, you can see connection settings for all the four social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and Pinterest. So, finally we head over to the dashboard tab. 
and we can see a lot of activity happening in the user area. When you see the sharing stats, you can see what percentage is shared successfully, and what percentage sharing failed. Next, we review the submitted URL section. We can monitor URLs scheduled and shared in easy-to-review line graphs. Moving up, you can see the number of sitemaps added created, number of URLs submitted added, launchers added created and number of launcher groups successfully created added. Congratulations, you are ready to drive unlimited traffic from the hot social sites and make a killing with this awesome powerful tool.